welcome back to my channel. My name is Chemis and I'm going through some of my kitchen appliances just for those of you who may be curious, wondering what they do or thinking about buying something similar. Hopefully I can give you the information that you need to help make that decision a little bit easier. So let's get into the video. When I get asked what's the point of a food processor, my answer is if you only want one appliance in your kitchen, it should be a food processor. They will chop, grate, slice, peel, dice and mix all your ingredients at home for restaurant inspired dishes. A good quality processor will have a nice weighted base for stability, a good powerful motor and include a practical number of attachments. Now, what I have in front of you is I have my peel and dice, but I don't have the base because the base is actually quite heavy, um, which is a good thing to be honest, but I'd have to plug everything out to put it on the counter. So I'm gonna leave that there for now. And you will receive two bowls. So you have the larger one and you have the smaller one, which is inside. If I'm doing any kind of dressings, things like that, if you're chopping herbs, that's great. Um, dicing onions and things. Then the larger bowl is obviously for the main things that you're going to be doing. But you also get a lot of attachments. And with the attachments, you have a mini chopper blade, which will go in the small bowl, and that's the only attachment that fixes into the small bowl. The quad blade, this is actually really good. If you are like um, cutting anything that's quite big or quite coarse, it's very, very good for that. It helps to break it down. Now, it also comes with this guard because it's extremely sharp, so you need to be careful when you're handling these. The great thing about this is everything slots in perfectly. There's a slot for everything, and it's clearly marked on the actual unit. Wow. You have a dough hook. This one goes in the larger bowl. I know it looks small, but it goes in the large bowl. You have your emulsifying disc, so you can use this to whisk, oil dressings, mayonnaise, things like that. Your slicing disc it is clever because it has different numbers and you can decide how thick you would like the slices. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can decide how thick you'd like the slices depending on the numbers on the base here. You don't have to buy multiple discs for different thicknesses. It's all on one disc, which is great. You're going to have your grating, and then with these, you just turn them over. So you've got your coarse and you've got your fine. You also have a brush here as well. You have your julienne. So if you want to julienne any potatoes or any carrots or cucumbers, you know, you're doing a fancy dish and you want to um, have it look all nice and well presented. You've got a spatula for when you're clearing the bowl. And then you've also got a chipping disc. In the base of your container, you're going to get the peeling disc, the spindle, then you have your dicing disc. Be careful because these are actually very sharp. Comes with a plastic covering, because you've got a blade here, which is this. And then you have the actual disc, which will dice the fruits and vegetables. Now this is actually very sharp. It comes with a plastic cover. When you are not using these items, you store them away correctly and you store them with their plastic covers included. The other thing that you're gonna get is you're gonna get a pusher. Now the reason for that is obviously not everything is gonna go through the mixer straight away. So this will just help to push that through. You've got the pusher here. It's got clips on here. And you hear that click and then you're going to push it through the holes sizes now with the um peel and dice it comes with three different disc sizes you automatically get the 12 millimeter disc size but then you can purchase additionally the 8 millimeter and the 16 millimeter the different disc sizes will be suitable for batch prepping onion for cooking in later dishes making a fruit salad or home fries the great thing is Depending on personal preference, you can decide. Okay guys, so I've gone through the machine with you and I've showed you the discs and the new ones that arrived today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to make a pico de gallo with your Kitchen Whiz peel and dice. It's very simple, very easy. You can also do it by hand, it's just a lot more labor intensive. However, the peel and dice makes it quick and easy work. Okay guys, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've prepared my vegetables, so, what we have, I've got tomatoes here, chop the tops off those. My pepper, I've cut it in half, removed all the seeds. Cut my lime in half, because I'll use my juicer to juice that. 
my onion, I've peeled it, taken the top and the bottom off. And then with the coriander, I've just basically broken it up. The main thing is I just don't want too much of the stalk in there because I'll pop it in here and that will chop it up nicely for me. So if you're ready, let's make it. You'll see that I'm starting to prepare to put the coriander into the bowl. I'm using the small one with the S blade and I'll pulse it a few times. Once that's ready, I'm gonna put it into the larger bowl and then I will get the eight millimeter disc because I like smaller chunks and I'll prepare everything to start dicing. You'll see that I'm going in with the pusher. This just helps to push through those last few pieces that the blade missed. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, make sure everything's all mixed together nicely. I'm adding a little bit of salt to taste. You can add as much or as little as you prefer. And then I will start to juice my limes. give it another stir just to make sure everything's incorporated together. And there you have it guys. Simple, easy pico de gallo. Now I'll have the ingredients below. You can adjust them as you like. I like a lot of onions. So mine's got a little bit more onions than tomatoes. But if you want more tomatoes than onions, absolutely fine. Do it as you wish but um, these are really good. So I like them with tortilla chips, but also I like them with chicken, fish, even just regular chips. So yeah, try it out and tell me what you think. Mm. It's really good. And I will see you guys on my next video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.